So let's talk about mobile responsive websites with MobiRise, mobile, resp mobile responsive websites with MobiRise. And so the question would be, why do we, why would we tackle this subject? Why would we, why would we do this? And because if you're going to get started and if you've got to, let's say, do something with your skills in order to, in, in order to either generate income or you've just got to do something to make something happen. And typically, if you've got to jumpstart your online business, probably one of the best ways to do this is to build a site for somebody who doesn't have one. And believe it or not, there are a lot of people out there who, man, they've got Facebook pages, they've got YouTube channels, but they don't have a website. They'd like to have one. And then they go to someplace like Wix or they go someplace like, um, you know, or they go to WordPress and it's, it's beyond them. They want to focus on their business. They want to focus on their brand. They want to focus on their job. And if you could just build something easy for them that would be worth your time, then you can typically jumpstart your online business that way. And so it's one of the best things that you can do for a business is to give them a presence on the web. Now, when you build a site for somebody, it's got to be easy to update and maintain because if it wasn't, then they'd be doing it themselves already. If, 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 if you build, if you did, if they didn't need you to build it, then they probably could maintain it very easily themselves. And that's pretty typically not going to be the case. So even if you build a site, let's say it's going to be a WordPress site, you go and you get a really nice theme and you know, you put a lot of time into it and then they can't update it. That's not good too either because then they're going to have to call you or even if they're not the person updating it, even if the person is you, right? You go and you get a theme, you get some, uh, you get somebody to, you get, get a freelancer. They put some work into it and then you got to update it. And it takes you a long time. And what happens is this is what happens to so many, let's say information marketers is they have to fool around so much with their site. They got to take time away from their business. They got to take time away from creating content. They have to take time away from marketing their business in order to mess around with the site. And that's not really the idea. Um, so your presence also really needs to be mobile responsive. And sometimes you can do that in WordPress very easily. Sometimes you can't. And um, so it really does have to be so that the, the site responds to your to your mobile. And again, it's not always going to be a straightforward process, depending on what site you you know what site builder you use, depending on what uh, you know what uh, level of WordPress you're using. It's just not necessarily all that all that straightforward. And all of this stuff has traditionally been where WordPress has shined. Right. People typically say, if you were, to, if I were to ask you, where can I just start get, where can I start building a site right away and have it go extremely well and have it be easy? The standard answer among information marketers is that you need to go get a WordPress site, right? Because it's expandable. You can add on plugins. You can add on the theme. And so that is our typical answer. Now, here's why that is, right? Because when you get WordPress as a platform, if you get the basic platform, you go get a domain, you go get hosting, it's free, right? It doesn't cost you anything. So, you know, you might have to get a theme, might have to get a plugin, but for the most part, you can get started on WordPress. You don't have to have anything outside of your domain and hosting. And that's typically why I think we typically recommend it to each other as well as small business people, as well as anyone, right? Getting started with uh, building a site for themselves. The question is this, uh, is WordPress really easy to maintain? Is that true? And I think that the answer to that, at least the answer to that, according to the people who've been here, is that it isn't, right? It's not necessarily all that easy to maintain. And it's easy, to, and, and while it is easy to main, to install, right, most of us could probably walk through the steps of getting our WordPress site installed. You could probably follow a tutorial, probably follow a PDF, probably follow a blog article. It's not necessarily all that easy to customize. And, and there are as many rules on customizing a site as there are methods. And so that's just not a very straightforward thing. It'd be overwhelming. And again, take away from time, and it'll take away time from your business or take away time from marketing your business. And, and let's say that you find a theme that you like. Typically, that may not be easy to maintain. It may be easy to get installed. Once again, it's just not easy to maintain. So one way to build a site, whether or not it's your business or your organization, 
is to use MobiRise. MobiRise is a way for you to build a site that really helps you with all these things. And again, it isn't WordPress. So what, how do we look at this? So, so how should we look at MobiRise? Um, it's a free downloadable mobile responsive website builder. That's what it is. Uh, it doesn't take any, doesn't take any special skill to go and get it. Doesn't cost you anything to get the mobile, uh, uh, website builder. And it, there's no commercial license. So in other words, you can use it personally or you can use it for clients out of the box. So you're not paying for anything. You don't have to pay extra for a commercial license. You want to build a site for someone else. You can go and get the software and you can build it. Um, the builder is basically user form supported. So, so, so in other words, if something isn't working or you're trying to figure something out or you're trying to do something special, there are other people who are using MobiRise. It, there is part of a, there is a forum and they talk to each other in order to help each other. So MobiRise does not provide support. And naturally, I mean, you get the software free, then they're not going to support the software in that they're going to show you how to use it, how to make things work. They're going to help you find other users who are trying to do the same thing. Now, if you buy an add-on, and yes, there are add-ons, that's not the purpose of this training is to get you to buy add-ons. But, but I do want to let you know there are the, are some, and, and there are, there is support for those add-ons when you get them. Now, the builder is basically drag and drop. It can be navigated with limited technical skills. Very limited. So you don't have to be a guru. You don't have to be a tech person in order to get your site to work right, in order to get it to look good, in order to get it up and running. Um, it comes with both a preview and an undo feature. That's what I really like. So in other words, I can test out everything. I can decide, okay, I don't like this, and I can pitch it. And then I can start over again. Or I don't have to start over from the very beginning. I can start at the point at which I started making changes. Right? That's very helpful to me if I'm not necessarily all that technical. What can you do? Right? So if you're watching this and you're thinking, well, what can you do if you know how to use MobiRise? What, what can you do knowing how to use it? One of the things is that you can build a mobile responsive website, again, for yourself or for a business. You don't have to know how to code anything. You don't have to know anything about uh, HTML or CSS. Now, again, I mean, there are areas where if you want to do that, you can get involved with uh, the CSS and the HTML, but you don't have to do that in order to get a site up. Um, you can create a site for a business without knowing how to use WordPress. That's what you can do. You can create mobile responsive sales pages. You can create mobile responsive opt-in pages, again, without having to know a lot of other code. Um, now, here's the thing about MobiRise. Now, it doesn't come with a necessarily a facility that is central to blogging. Now, I am going to show you some some ways in which you can work around that. But let's say that what you do like about WordPress is that it really is good for blogging, right? And so you want to be able to have your business or you want to be able to create a site for someone that has a business. And you want to give them the ability to blog also. Now, if that is the case, and that's a very smart way of being able to do things, you can uh, very easily uh, put WordPress in a subdirectory, right? So, 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 so in other words, um, what you can do is <clears throat> you can have the blogging and the SEO ranking capability of WordPress for content, right? So you can have that. Um, at the same time, um, you can maintain your blog. Right. And at the same time, you can maintain your front page with MobiRise. Right. So you can maintain your business pages with MobiRise and you can blog with WordPress. So, so if you just want to have a basic, uh, you know, a basic blog, a basic update page, you can do that in WordPress. You don't have to have a lot of fancy things, but if you want to have your business site, and you want to be able to walk through this process, then you can do that with MobiRise. Let's see. I've got a question here. Um, yeah, then you could keep the WordPress blog simple. You don't have to get into uh, the intricacies of that. You just want to make sure it doesn't get hacked. And even then, um, when you've got something really simple, it's unlikely that anyone's going to be after your site. So, yeah, that's a great question. And, yes, um, um, you could keep the blog simple. Okay, so let's talk about pricing. Um, there, there is only the pricing of add-ons. Now, once again, the core module is free. And that's what we're going to be talking about here. 
So, uh, and, and this is just for logistical sake. So, so that you don't go to the page, you don't start looking for things and then get surprised by something. Um, so probably if you buy anything, you'd be buying a PayPal shopping cart and you might buy some icon extensions, right? And then if you really want to get into the code, Right. If you're, if if you just kind of feel like, well, I I want to get behind the code. I want to know how this works. You can do that. There's a code editor. Um, there are some other themes, right? There's some themes that they give you. Um, direct M, space M, color M, other things like that. Um, then they've got a block of three, and then they give you an image slider, right? So again, all of these things are extra. You don't have to have them, and you're going to see that here with Moby Rise, and um, you know, if you just kind of want to get everything all together, right? It's 149 bucks. You get the code editor, PayPal cart, wow slider, and all the other stuff. So that's, that's all about the, 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 the cost, right? So if you're gonna, you're gonna pay, you could pay 149 and then that would do it. But once again, the point of this is that, that for the basic use of, of Moby Rise, it's free. You're gonna see that. So let's get into the demo so you can see. Right. You're going to go to mobirise.com, and what you're going to do is you're going to download the software. Now, when you do that, you're going to have to log into an account and create an account. Now, obviously, I've already gone through that process, but it's going to ask you for a, an email address. It's going to send that email. Uh, uh, it's going to send you an email where you're going to have to put in a code. I'm going to show you what that email looks like. So as soon as you actually uh, get the software, you sign up for it, I'm going to show you what the email looks like that you're going to get. And it's going to send your, your, your uh, login and password, right? So, so that's what you're going to have to be looking for. So, so you don't want to create a password or look for it or think you created one. Um, it's going to send you what your password's going to be, right? Okay, so now uh, once you come back to the site and you log in, here's where you're going to be. So what you're going to have to do is, depending on whether or not you have a Mac or whether or not you have Windows, you're going to go ahead and download the software. Now, if you do buy um, any of the extensions, this is where they're going to be. You're going to add them to this account. So let's go ahead and download this. Now, I've, again, I've already downloaded the software. I'm just going to show you that it's, it's not intimidating or anything like that. And basically what I've already done is, I, it's for the sake of this video, I've installed it. I'm going to, I've already uninstalled it. I'm going to install it again while we're here. All right, so here is the builder. And we're going to just double click the ex executable file. It's going to ask to make some changes and we're going to let it. We're going to click next. And again, I've already installed it, so that's why you saw that message. You're not going to see that when you install it for the first time. All right, so I'm installing this on a Windows computer. I'm installing this on a Windows 10 PC, but I think it installs up to Windows 7. It goes as far back as Windows 7. So if you have Windows 7, you should be fine to install Moby Rise. Now, before that, I'm not sure if it's, if it's going to work if your, your uh, operating system is older than that. Okay, so what it's doing right now is looking at a template that I had already built. And so basically, this is a template that kind of comes with Moby Rise. And when you get Moby Rise, one of the things you're going to do, you're going to see this. It's going to tell you to click here to start. And basically, I want to show you, uh, show you around the site. This is obviously a desktop application, so we're not on a website right now. This is what your site builder is going to look like. What I'm going to do is I come to that left side, and then I'm going to hover over this area that says Pages. And when I click there, what you're going to notice is that I'm working on this home page. That's the home page that I'm working on right now inside of Moby Rise. If I want to create another page to add on to my site, I can click Create New Page, and that's going to be for this site. It's not going to be for any other site. It's going to be for this site, and I can name it. We'll get to that point in here in a minute. If you're going to buy extensions, this is where you buy them. Right? So if I click here, you'll see all the extensions here. Right now, um, what we have here is we have pretty much a in a, a website builder where if I want to change the text 
all I've got to do is click inside of this text and then I can then make changes. So all I'm doing is placing my cursor here and if I want to write something in here, I can write it in here. If I want to take something out, I'm going to click in here and I'm just going to change this. Right, if I want to change what kind of title this is, right, maybe I can change this to bold. Or I want to change the kind of title, I want to change this to title one. And so it, maybe it's going to be at that level, or I want it to be at the second level. Or maybe I just want it to be at the third level. I can change these buttons. So for example, what I have here is it says email us. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click this area that says link. What you'll notice here is that um, it has an email address in here. But let's say that what I want to do, I want this to be the web address. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a web address in here. I'm going to have this open in a new window. I'm going to insert the link. And then I'm going to change the name of this to a website and say visit us, right, or something. And then I'm going to change this one. I'm going to click the link. And then I'm going to say instead of phone us, I'm going to say email us, right? So I'm going to say email us. I'm going to insert the link. I can change the nature of this, right? So I can change the color of this button. Let's say I want to change this to that color, or I want to uh, I want to change the style, right? So I want to change the color here. Let's say that I want to change the nature of the button. I don't want it to be rounded. Right, I want it to be. I want those buttons to be square. Let's say that I want the buttons to uh, animate on the scroll. I can do that, or I can turn that off. So again, I have a lot of latitude over what I want to do with these buttons here in this area. I'm going to close this up right now. Okay. So again, everything is pretty much. If I click on something, I can change it. So let's say that I want to click on this icon. I can change it, right? So I've got some other icons here I can work with. So let's say I don't like this mobile device. All right, let's see. I want to change this to something else. Say I want to change this to something that's work related or so or city. Let's say I want to do it something city related. Let's choose that one. And that one's going to appear there now. Well, I can make sure that that, uh, that image links to something, right? So I can link this to, let's say, a site. And again, I have all the same choices here. I'm going to click OK. And you'll notice I've got this image here. So anything I want to change, all I've got to do is click on it, and I can make a change. If I want to click on this, I click on it, I can make a change. I can click on this magnifying glass, right? I can make a change. So I've got some, I've got some icons here I can change so. If I want to click this, I can make a change. Okay, does that make sense, everybody? So again, very easy, right? Moby Rides is very easy to use, and it's free. 
Um, so, so some of this you're gonna you're gonna learn by exploring. Some of it you're gonna learn by what I'm watching. I'm really just gonna kind of show you and introduce it to you. Now, one of the things that you're gonna want to be able to do is you're gonna want to be able to make some changes, right? So, so basically, let's take a look at what we call the black parameters, right? The black parameters, or let's say I want to add a block to this page. So basically, I have two blocks on this page, right? And let's say that I want to add in another block here, right? I can add in a block here. And basically, I have another area now that I can edit, right? So now I've got this here and the bottom. I can then change the element of this. I can change this to one of those fancy background videos. Right, so let's say that now what I want to do is I want a video to run in the background of this site. And so what I can do here is I can go and I can get a video. Right, so let's, let's, let's go find a video here. Let's just go to YouTube. And let's find a video of, let's see, who's from New England here? Let's do the Portland Headlight. How about that? Let's do Portland Headlight. See if we can find a good Portland Headlight video. Enter fresh service. Well, we don't want to do that. We don't want the commercial. But let's go back to Moby Rise here. And we're going to put that video right in there. And there's our Portland Headlight. Okay, so we've got that going in the background. So again, I mean, we can change the background color of this of this block. We can change the background image. Right. Um, what I can do is I can work with again. We got the black parameters. If I click, if I click this button over here, here's what I can do. I can click drag block. If I drag this down, what I can do then is I can drag this one to the bottom. I can come back to this. I can drag one to the top. Right, so I've got the ability to move these things around and basically it's all drag and drop, literally. So I don't really have to know a lot in order to do that. And basically, I can use the templates that are already here. So everybody, make, does that make sense, everybody? Does everybody got to get this, basically? Some of this you're going to have to get in here and play around and make the site like you want it. Let me kind of show you how to build a page from scratch. So let's say that what you want to do is you want to add in a page. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click Create. I'm going to create a new page here. I'm going to call this page about us. Right? That's a that's a page there. Okay? Um and and they, they they'll give you the ability to add in some stuff like meta tags and web, website description. So, if you want to really get into some of the SEO, I mean, you can do that with this site. Right? We're not going to do that here, but we could do that. Right, so this this the, the name of this page now is going to be about us. All right, so what do we do with that page? Well, I'm going to go to add a block to this page. So what can I add to this page? Well, they give us some blocks we can add to the page. Here's some article blocks. All right, so maybe I want to add in some article blocks. I'm just going to drop that in there. And then maybe I want to have in here. Uh, a price button, a price page, right? I want to add that in here. And then I want to add in some counters or something, right? Right, so again, now, once I do that, right, I'm going to, I'm just going to click inside of here. The block's going to go away, and so how do I edit it? Remember, all I'm going to do is I'm going to click inside of here in order to edit, right? So, so again, 
everything is very straightforward in terms of how we work with Moby Rise. And so the point of being able to do this, of course, is that we know that the site's going to be mobile responsive. And so one of the things I can do at every point is I'm going to click this mobile view so I can see how my site's going to look on somebody's uh, mobile device. Right? Maybe I won't like it. And I can make some changes. Right, I can go back to the desktop view. Right, so basically, I can then make another page. I can create another page. And I can make this my privacy policy. Or whatever. And I'm going to click this. Right, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to add a block to the page. I'm going to find some article content. Right, maybe what I'll do first is I might put in an article header. And then I might then come and just put in something so my privacy policy will change. Right, does that make sense, everybody? So again, everything is pretty straightforward. When I build a page, all I'm really doing is I'm just adding blocks. When I need to make changes with those blocks, I'm going to click inside of the block and make a change. Right, anything that I see here that I want to change, I can click on it. Right, if I want to get rid of it, I'll just get rid of it. Right, so I'm just going to get rid of that button. If I want to remove a block, maybe I don't like that header, I'll just get rid of it, right? So maybe I want to put another header up there, or I don't want a header on this page. So I, I have a totally customizable site. Now, again, to some, to some degree, there's a learning curve for this, but the learning curve is very short, right? It's very easy to work with. And if you just got to build a site for somebody, and you need to get started quickly, and you need to be able to put up something that's going to look professional, you can do that with this, uh, with this site builder. And let's say now what I want to do, they, let's say what we want to do, once again, we're going to make it fancy, right? We're going we're gonna to put a background video in there. Right? So I'm going to put my Portland headlight in there. Right? Once again, um, very, you know, very, very easy to do provided, you know, that you kind of get to the learning curve. And, and I'm really showing you all of the, <laughs> everything there is. I know that, you, you know, most things are complicated, but this is not. And everything that uh, is really going to work with this site, you've just about seen it all. So what do we need to do now? Well, we need to be able to, to install this site someplace. And so what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to click Publish. Now basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a directory on my hard drive. I'm going to call this MobiRise2. Actually, I'm not, it's not there yet, so I, I need to create it. Let's call this MobiRise2. And then I'm going to pick that as the site that I want to select. And so that's where it's going to publish the site to. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click Publish. And now this is how it's going to appear in my browser. Right, so okay, so now what am I going to do? Well, I'm going to need to install this to my own site. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this I'm going to put this inside of my web server, my web host. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of the files that are concerning that that we just saved to our hard drive. I'm going to, I'm going to put them on my server. So what I need to do is I need to find those files. And I can find those files. And we save those to MobiRise 2.
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change, I'm going to take all of these pages. I'm going to move those to my server. I'm just going to drag and drop them there. And once I do that, then I'm just going to just show you what the site's going to look like. Okay, so the question is, am I importing or exporting these files? Okay, so when I, um, when I was in Mobi Rise, in order to publish this, I clicked Published. It exported the files to a place on my hard drive because the, what this is is software, right? So I downloaded this software to my personal computer. Right, okay, so then once I got the, once I got the files on my personal computer, in order to get them on my server, then I have to upload them to my server, right? So, so, so it's a two-step process. The first, I export them to a folder on my hard drive. Then I go from my hard drive, folder on my hard drive, to my server. Okay, great. So you got it. Okay, so uh, let's take a look. I'm going to put this inside of a server. And I think, let's see, just call this MOB, right? So there is my, there's my site. And now again, I mean, you know, we, we, we were kind of playing around with this, but we've got it, right, basically. And if I click there, it's going to add. Now, what, what I could have done is I really should have, I could have put in links to my other pages. Okay, so Dana's question is, can you work on it from another location as you can with WordPress? I think what you can do, Dana, is, let's see, I think that there is a way to publish to, uh, to Moby Rise, and you can publish to this site. Now, I think you still have to make the changes. I think you still have to make the changes locally. All right, so let's do that. Oh uh, no, okay, so you can't you can't leave it there permanently. It's only for testing. So yeah, so so the answer to your question is you'd have to make the changes locally. Right? So you would not be able to work on this in the cloud. That's right, Dana. All right, good question. Any other questions? Right, so Dana says that's how she's got to do her sites and her older sites in Net, Net Objects Fusion. Yeah, and so I think I think what you're trading off here is you're trading off ease of ease of being able to build a site versus being able to work in a cloud. Right, so so yeah, so so there there's definitely a trade off here, and I guess the trade off is really is is just the not not necessarily is convenience versus ease. Right, convenience versus ease. Okay, any any other questions? Yeah, and so and so um, the the uh, so so Dana's point is what you could do is you could add on to a WordPress you could add a WordPress blog to this. Right, that's a great point because what we could do is let's just kind of I'm I'll, I'll kind of do this here. What we could do is we could just install. So where's my where's my site here? Okay, so let's say that my this was my site. I could install a blog to mob forward slash blog, and I'm going to do part of this off screen. So I'm going to go to my server, and I'm going to go to cPanel. Right, I'm going to do this off screen a little, and we'll just we'll we'll do this. Uh, and I hope that I can remember my password. All right, so 
what we would do is we would, I think we can do this in Fantastico. All right, we're going to go inside of Fantastico. We're going to find WordPress. And what we're going to do is we're going to build, we're going to build WordPress. We're going to build WordPress in uh, the directory forward slash mob forward slash blog. Right, so that's what we would do. And I'm going to go off screen. I'm going to create a username and password. Right, and so Dave's point is, if you just had to do something for a simple review site, you didn't really need a lot of fancy add-ons, you need to do something fast, yeah, this would be ideal for that. Right? Because really all you've got to do is just kind of find a block that will fit what you're trying to do. That's exactly, that's exactly the point. Right, and so... <clears throat> For some people, right? If if you if if you have any part of your business where you do where you're you're providing a service, or I mean, look, if you're if if you're if if you're looking to kind of jumpstart things, and and one of the one of the best ways to jumpstart things really is to provide a service, right? And this is a service that again, most people um, who who probably need the service would be happy to have you do it. And you want to always do this in a way that, again, isn't, isn't going to be onerous on your time. Okay, so we've got our blog here, right? So now, on the one hand, I've got, I've got my site at, at MOB, forward slash MOB, and I've got my blog at MO, MOB, forward slash blog, right? And I did all that in WordPress and cPanel. Right, so basically, if I really want a blog, if I really want to want a want something there. Now I could, again, I could, I could build this. I could build my blog pages with MobiRise. Right, I could do that. So, for example, what I could do is I could build out. Uh, I could just create a page every time I wanted to. Right, if I really, you know, I really wanted to do this. Now it's not as convenient, obviously, as WordPress. Maybe. Right, I guess it really depends on how you look at it. Um, I could, I could call this page um, uh, updates right or something or whatever my whatever my blog post was for that day and then I'm just going to add a block here right or add a couple of blocks so I could theoretically uh, do a do a blog post and I would just do it here Right, but if you if you want the ease of being able to use WordPress, you can do it just the way that I did. Do you just install WordPress to your subdirectory. We're going to start by coming over to the menu, and we're going to go to our sites, and we're going to open up a site. We're going to start by creating a brand new site, and what you're going to notice is that. MobiRise has two sides. Uh, you can use MobiRise 4.0 or 4.8, and you can use MobiRise AMP. Now, MobiRise AMP is actually a Google, uh, a, a Google, I, I'd say uh, one of the one of the, the the builders that is consistent with the way that Google likes to see sites. And so, we're going to take a look at MobiRise AMP, and we're going to call this site. Handyman, because one of the things we want to be able to do is we want to be able to build sites for other people, and you want to be able to do them fast. And so we're going to take a look at MobiRise AMP, and we're going to click OK. And MobiRise is going to open up. And we're going to then click Start. And what you're going to notice is that we're going to see a different uh, view of some of the templates, right? So basically, if I scroll down here, I'm going to see a different layout, 
right? And basically what I have here is I have the ability now that if I had to build a site, just a very quick site for uh, someone, I could do that with the with Mobilize AMP. So for example, um, one of the things that I'm going to do is we're first going to just kind of put our menu here, right? Remember with Mobirize, all I have to do is kind of drag and drop, right? Right, so there's my, there's my menu. And basically when I want to add a block to the page, I just add the blocks in this way. Right, so let's first, let's go ahead and pick one of the headers. Right, so that's going to fit underneath my menu. Right, remember that with Mobirize, all I have to do if I want to change this theme is I need to click inside of the theme and I need to write something else. So basically, I might say that this is video tutorials. And I might say overcoming technical difficulties. Right now, remember, one of the things I can do with this theme is I can click these three buttons. I can then uh, take a look at the parameters. Now, with this particular block, um, I can change the I can change the background color. So, if I want to change the background color, I can do that. If I want to show buttons on here, I could do that. So, for example, if I want my buttons all the way up here. I could then show the buttons that are going to be on there and then I can add this and then in this case maybe I want to have my button say something like uh, um, check out you know check out our videos and then I'm actually going to link to something now, I can link to a number of things. Now, one of the things I'm eventually going to do is I want to link to a page, right? So I'm not going to, I'm going to put a page here. And even though I don't have a page yet, all I have is the home page. So I'm going to come back there, right? But I basically have my first block here. And in order to add in a second block to my home page, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back here. And then I'm going to come back. And I'm not going to add a video to this page. Let's say maybe I want to add in, uh, I want to add in uh, an article title with a background image, right? Then maybe what I want to do is I want to say, um, you know, how to educate customers. I want to come back to my block addition and I want to find the right way to do this and here's that like to have here I want to have here a block of, of text here right and then what I want to do is I want to come down here and I want to add in this block so basically, let's first do this. Let's go ahead and just take a look at the mobile view. Right, so this is how it's going to look on the mobile device. Now I'm going to come back here. Let's go back to the desktop view. And then I want to preview it in a browser. Okay, so my browser opened over here, so it's opened up in Google Chrome. Okay, does everybody see that? So basically, I, what did it take me, five minutes to build the site? Okay, so if you've got to build a fast a, a site pretty fast, um, and you have Mobirize, 
Um, you can do this very fast if you've got to do this for a customer, and um, you can have a pretty decent looking site. So one of the other things I can do, I'm going to come back here, is I want to come back now, is I want to add in a page, right? So I want to add in that page that we were talking about. I want to create a page, and now I want to say, um, check out our videos. All right, so now what I want to do is I want now to uh, I want now to add something to this block. So let's see. Uh, maybe what I want to add here, I want to have some testimonials here. Right now, I'm going to move that block here in a minute. Uh, I want to have I want to have a footer. I want to have I want to have social on here, right? Because I want people to share the videos. So I want to come back here. Remember, all I got to do is go to my drag block. And then I can move some of these things down. Right? So I want that I want I want that share page. I actually want the share page on top. Right? So See, I want the share page. I want to come all the way down here to share page, and I want to move that under the videos. All right. So then uh, I'm going to go back and add a block now. Now I want to add in a video block. All right. And maybe what I want is I'd like to be able to add in this video and this is going to be a demo video right and now this is a Vimeo video obviously right so if I'm going to be using this, this is going to be a Vimeo video um, what I might do instead right maybe maybe we we, we will we will not do let's let's not do Vimeo, right? Maybe I don't have anything on Vimeo. And we're going to come back to the block. Let's do a YouTube video instead. Right? So then um, what I got to do is I'm going to uh, change the plot parameters. I find my YouTube video. And let's see, I'm going to search for internet marketing. I'm going to grab this. And we're just going to put that in here. And let's say maybe I like to have this to be a little wider. Right? I want this video to be wider. I can do that. Right? Maybe I want the background color to be different. I can make those changes. Right, once I'm done, I'm just going to close out of there. And I'm going to take a look now and see how this looks in my browser. This page. Right, so here's how the page looks. T take a look at our browser. So I don't really like that header there. So maybe what we'll do is we'll take the header. Let's see if we can change the header some. 
we can change, let's look like we can change the height. We can only make it bigger. So maybe, let's see if we can make this smaller. It doesn't look like we can. And maybe if we take the logo out, can, if we don't show the logo, will that make it smaller? It doesn't seem like it will. So then let's just take, let's just take this out. And then maybe let's put, maybe let's put it at the bottom. Right, so. Let's see if we can try the header at the bottom. The menu at the bottom. I think it only goes to the top. So let's drag it. Let's just drag it down. Right, maybe not. Let's, let's just delete that. Let's just delete it all together. Okay, so now let's let's uh, kind of go back and refer to this uh, this page. Right, so let's go back and let's go to the home page. And remember where we have this, this button, we're going to link to that. We're now just going to go to that page. We're going to take, uh, we're going to link that page to check our videos. So now when somebody clicks that button, they're going to be taken to that page. I want now to change some of this. Uh, let's say maybe I want to change that logo, right? So maybe I might want to change this image. Let's see. I can change the nature of this image. And let's see, let's maybe make that image something else. And let's get something from our PC, right? So maybe we'll just get something that we already have, right? So we don't just have to use their images. Maybe we'll just use something that we have already. And right? we'll put that up there. Right, so if we want to customize the image, we can do that. Right, so I'm going to go over here. To my block parameters, um, sidebar side. Let's make the sidebar on the left. Okay, so, so basically, you know, when you have Moby Rise, what you're trying to do is you're really just dragging and dropping the, 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 the blocks and then customizing the blocks, right? And you continue to build your pages one by one. Now, again, I mean, if, if, you, if you feel like, well, these, these templates are going to be too restrictive, you can go here into the extensions. And there are some other themes, right? So if you want to, here's one. Handyman theme here is $29. Let's say you wanted to just take a look at using a theme and you wanted to pay for one. Let's take a look at the demo. Right, you could just buy this theme. Right, if you just wanted to buy the theme, you could buy this theme. And if you had a handyman that you had to build a site for, you would just buy the theme and you would just put this up. Right, and just customize it using the same drag and drop, using the same uh, kind of click and change that you wanted to that you wanted to affect. So again, now if you you know once if you if you feel like well I really need something if I'm going to build this for something else I need something that's going to be a little more uh, a little more professional you can do that you can just buy a theme 
that's going to be here. Now, if you notice these other themes, these are all free. They don't have a price on them, right? Right now, we're using the MobiRise AMP theme. So there are these other themes, right? So we could use the MobiRise uh, default theme. Right, and we can use do that by just creating a new site. Okay, so let's uh, let's take a look at a block here. And let's see. One of the things that we can do here is we can build our subscribe form, right? Let's see, we already did that. Let's uh, delete this one. Now, basically, what we're doing here is um, you, you would you would you would use the uh, you use the email feature with the subscribe form, right? So in in some cases, what you can do with AWeber and GetResponse, they have an email address that will subscribe someone to a specific list when they send the email. Now, actually, what what you're getting here, you're only getting the email. So you're not going to have first name and email. You're only going to have the email, but you can do this. You can put a subscribe form on your page using MobiRise, right? So you can do opt-in. Um, now, there is a way, and I know that there's one. They do have HTML here, right? So they do have HTML. Uh, I think it's part of one of the things out here. Now, again, once again, now listen, now the, the, the goal of this is not to have to spend anything. Right, so if you really don't want to spend anything and you want to just build a site, you don't have to spend anything on this. Um, the, the subscribe form you have there is just fine. But if you really feel like once you start using it, you'd like to be able to do more with it, you can. 